find it. You're going to seek the word of the Lord and not be able to find it, man. Just like you dumbass Christians who come up here. Knowing we're, knowing we're cutting you to shreds and we'll admit it and still hold on to Christianity. When his plagues come, when Jacob's trouble comes, a time that y'all never seen come before, then y'all going to come up here. Then y'all going to be looking for us. Oh, what's that breakdown you gave on us? Oh, we're not supposed to be loving our neighbor? That's the son of perdition? The so-called white man? This when y'all are going to come. When his insurrection, you guys get second Ezra? Yeah. We get second Ezra, bro. Yeah, you're right, bro. Well, I got 15, and started verse 5. Yeah. Because second Ezra 15 and 5 says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will, bring, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Yeah. He's going to bring, bring that all out again. God, the second edge is 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. That's what's going to happen. That's the place I've been talking about, man. That's exactly what I've been talking about since I've been out here. All that's going to happen, man. All that's evidently going to happen. We see a famine coming. Evidently, we see the dollar falling. Evidently, we're in the brink of America is in a brink of war with several countries. That's gonna happen all at one time. It's gonna be a time which I've never seen before, Jake. Read that. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, from the top. And, and at that time shall Malik shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. There shall be a time of what? There shall be a time of trouble. A time of trouble. What's that time of trouble? Like it read in 2nd Ezra, man. The famine, the sword, and the destruction and death, bro. Right. And it's going to come because y'all niggas don't care, bro. Y'all walk up and down Dallas not caring. Y'all know we're bringing out the word of God. Y'all know that y'all know that y'all going to get reproved when y'all come up here. That's why I just walked by. But when this destruction comes, like we've been prophesying out of the Holy Scriptures that you say that you believe, that you false flag in, when that comes, that's when y'all gonna look for us, man. At that time, y'all not gonna find it. And as a matter of fact, all praise is for it, too. Because we've been contending with y'all niggas for years, bro. For years. And y'all still don't wanna hear this word. To this day, bro. What is, what's that mean going around saying, to this day, to this, to day. this day, to this damn day, y'all don't want to hear about it, man. Hey. So go ahead. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, my people shall be delivered. Oh, from the top. From the top. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth of the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since since. There was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, that people shall be delivered. And at that time, the people shall be delivered. Let's see who's going to be delivered. You give me Second Ezra. Second Ezra is at the very end. Second Ezra is the last chapter. Where are you at? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's 16. Yeah, right. You started. Second uh, Ezra chapter 16 and verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection. It's be a great what? Insurrection. A great insurrection, man. It's gonna be uproars of the people. It's gonna be nation against nation. It's gonna be race wars. It's gonna be famine, sword, and death. That's coming, man. Great insur insurrection. All praises. Go ahead. Upon those that fear the Lord. Yeah. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So even on us, man, those who actually fear the Lord, who actually does what he says, who actually hearkens his word and teaches uh, the nations, that, and who is a prophet to the nations, who is condemning these nations, and actually teaching the, uh, the nation of Israel, that's going to be a great insurrection upon us, and it's going to be a great insurrection on y'all at the same exact time. Uh, at the same exact time, man. And then we're going to see who the Most High Gods is, bro. Because it said during that time, in Daniel chapter 12, during that time shall the people be delivered. Now we're going to see which, which people is going to be delivered. Bro. It says, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Then what? Then shall they be known 
who are my chosen. Then at that time shall those those be known who is the most high God's chosen. Man. At that time, when those people get delivered, the people who get delivered from those fever camps, who get delivered from the so-called white man busting ins inside your door and killing our people for no reason, man. When, when there's no 911, when the purge is going on, man, when the famine and the sword is going on, all that combined, when all that happens and you see a certain people get saved, that's when that's when you're gonna know who the most high gods is, man. Because those are the people who are gonna get saved. And and they shall be tried as the gold and fire. Yeah. Here, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. The days of what? Of trouble are at hand. It's the same thing like it said in Daniel. The time of trouble that they had that's never been here before, man. Go ahead. But I will deliver you from the same. He's gonna do it. Deliver you from the same. And it said those people at that certain time are gonna be delivered. He's gonna deliver the people who keep the law, statutes, and commandments, who actually fear the Lord, man. That's the people who's gonna get saved during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. And that's it. Be, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for God is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments. The guide of what? The guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord God. Let not your sins weigh, weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So that's what it's talking about when you have when you have Revelation chapter 18 talking about come out of her, my people, man, and be not partaker of her sins. Don't let the sins of this world weigh you down, Jake. That's what we. That's why we got it. That's like it said in Jeremiah. What you read before is that Jeremiah uh, four. Was that four? 414. Watch yourself from your wickedness that you may be saved, man. That's what we need to do. We need to come out of this germ called Christianity. We gotta come out of this virus, this plague, this disease, man. And that's who Christ came for. He came for the sick. And who's more sick than the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man? The whole need not a physician. But the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans need a physician, man. Because we're sick. We're broken down. We're destroyed, man. And it's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a good and great thing when the, when the other nations see us being saved. Those who actually keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Lord willing, we up here, be, we up here are part of that number, man. Right, right. Get that. <clears throat> the book of the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter five and verse one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made no account of Read all the way again. From the top. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. And that's what we are here doing, man. We're standing in great boldness, man. Great boldness. Like a so-called white man or the other nations come up to us, you're going into captivity, bro. There's no salvation for you in our book, man. And like I said, it possessive. This is our book. This is my heritage, man. You're not gonna take that from me. You're not gonna try to annex yourself into these into the promises just so you can get saved from the judgment that's coming to you, man. Free. Before the face of such as have afflicted him and had no account of his labor. Now, what's going on with your hair, man? What the hell's up with that, man? What the hell's up with that, man? Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have Say what? Say what? You're, are you gonna just say it and speak and, and flee, man? This is dumbass, bro. I don't like the other nations, bro. I just can't stand it. From the top, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him yeah. and made no account of his labor. And they don't make no account of our labors, man. Because if they made an account of our labors, they wouldn't be treating us like this. They wouldn't be continuously treating us like this, man. We built up your damn country, bro. We built up your country. We built everything for you. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans built this country for you so you can walk around with your nose up in the air, man, like you're better than somebody. Y'all right. don't make no account for our labels. That's why y'all think it's so easy to kill us. That's why I think it's, it's you can do whatever you want. Just say, get over it, man. 
how, why does the so-called black and Hispanic man have to continue to get, uh, to uh, have to just take their lick all the time? Why do we have to do that? The so-called white man don't ever just take their lick. Y'all didn't do that with the American Revolution when y'all was protesting. We, they, y'all have an issue with us protesting, but y'all y'all teach in, our, in history books to all oh, y'all protest the British. No, uh, no representation without uh, what's that? No representation. Yeah, no representation without representation, bro. Y'all 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 revolted against them, and y'all teach that in y'all's history books. But when we come out here out of the Bible, <laughs> when we come out here out of the Bible and so-called protest against you, there's a problem. Bro. Y'all y'all are damn hypocrites, bro. Verse two. When they see it, they shall be troubled. Yeah, that, that's gonna that's gonna be a great time, man. When they see our salvation, they are going to be troubled, man. It's gonna be like, damn, damn, they're actually the people. We've been we've been doing all this and that to them. Like, damn, man, we really gonna get judged now with terrible fear. Yeah. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of the salvation, so far beyond all they that they look for. Damn, they're gonna be the ones that saved? I thought they were just niggas. I thought they were just spicks, man. I thought they were just a lesser people. I thought that we could just rule over them and nothing would ever happen, man. Go ahead. Verse three. And they repented and groaning for the anguish of spirit shall say with themselves, within themselves, this was he whom he who we had sometimes in this, uh, the region. And they, this is really, really like it. And they repented and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom, whom we had sometimes in derision in a proverb of reproach. A proverb of reproach, man. These niggas ain't nothing. They can't read the Bible. They can't read in general. They don't know how to take care of their houses. They do all this and do all that, man. They're worthless people. Why are they being saved, man? Go ahead. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. They counted our end to be without honor, but it's gonna be with all the honor, man. It's gonna be with all the glory. Cause the kingdom is, give me, give me Daniel chapter two. Two verse four, four to four. And then I'm gonna end it off on that, man. You're, he's already there. This is the book of Daniel chapter two and verse 44. And in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. The kingdom isn't going to be left to other people. It's not going to be left to the so-called white man. It's not going to be left to the Asian man. It's not going to be left to the Japanese man. It's not going to be left to the, the, the so-called Indian man, the Elamites, man. It's not going to be left to them. It's going to be left to us, the saints, man. No, no I'm not done. Give me, give me Daniel chapter 7. Chapter 7, verse 18. Go ahead. It says, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. It shall do what? Stand forever. Our kingdom is going to stand forever, man. That's right. That's all that's going to happen. We're going to get the kingdom. The saints of God, the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to take the kingdom and rule over you, man. That's the gospel of the Bible. That's us being saved from you damn devils, man. That's us actually being a mighty people who you were sent out to be, man. And that's, that's the whole story of the Bible, man. A fall and redemption of a people. And who's that people? The Israelites. It's not about just hugging your damn oppressor. It's about revolution for the black, Hispanic, and Native American, man. And that's it. The book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. And we shall do what? Shall take the kingdom. We shall take the kingdom, man. We're not going to just be given the kingdom. We're going to take it. We're going to take rulership of this world, man. It's going to be destruction, bro. Go ahead. What's up? What's going on? And possesses the kingdom forever. And forever and ever. Forever and ever, man. Forever, ever, and ever, ever, man. We're going to hold this kingdom forever, bro. So anybody, the nation and kingdom that doesn't want to serve us is going to get broke into pieces and utterly destroyed, man. And that's what the Bible teaches. That's what the Bible teaches, man. It's not a hug and everybody tell it tell me movie, man. This is about strong men taking the kingdom, man. And with that, 
I want to say call all Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and say death to America. Death to America!